Lately, I just keep thinking about John Dewey's claim that modern society encourages us to recognize art rather than perceive it. So John Dewey, famous American philosopher from the early 20th century associated with pragmatism, Dewey has a really amazing theory of art. And one of the many aspects of it is that nowadays, rather than actually perceiving art, by which he means sort of getting into the flow or rhythm of a piece as an organic whole that tells us something about the world or that makes us feel some type of way, ideally a combination of both, we tend to just recognize artworks nowadays. We just sort of Mm -hmm. like, oh, Flash of recognition, moving on. And I think our society doesn't really know how to engage with art except as a commodity. And this is why we have the tendency to recognize it rather than to genuinely perceive it. But I also want to say that I'm taken by a potentially incompatible idea, at least (laughs) on the face of it, (laughs) which is Adorno's idea that society today actually has the opposite problem. For Adorno, art is not autonomous enough because it's always commodified. And so we don't have the separate sphere of art that for him is required in order for art to critically reflect on the conditions of society. And Adorno has this great way of putting it where he calls the artwork heteronymously autonomous. <laughs> so the artwork is both autonomous and also inextricably related to its social condition. <laughs> I do get the sense that when you put Dewey and Adorno side to side and think about their differences, one thing that unites them is that both seem to be taken by some imagined before time, potentially mm. when artworks weren't treated as an object to be consumed. But couldn't we say that art, in fact, has always been connected to markets? 